everybody. Hope we're all fit and well. Hope we've all been spoiled on Valentine's Day. Hope we're all uh, looking after ourselves as well. Give a bit of love to ourselves. So we're standing up nice and tall. Go to draw that tummy in. Get those shoulders back. Arms down at the sides. And just take that little lean forwards. Just to find that balance spot. Wake up those senses. Get ourselves ready to move. So we'll do it a few more times. Just a little walk back. So just before you think you're going to fall forward. So you have to catch the weight on the toes. That's good. A couple more. And last one. Find that little spot, that balance point. And then hands onto hips, so one hand in front behind, we're going to tilt that pelvis under. A little scroll back, so we get that arch at the bottom of the spine, so we tilt under and back. So it's just that tilt in the pelvis and back. Excellent. A few more times, so it loosens up the lower back, helps find that neutral spine. You might want to just soften the knees a fraction. Again, that just helps put the body in the right position. So two more. One more, and we should be nicely balanced. And we're getting those legs moving now. So we're pressing that foot into the ground, pushing down through the ball of the foot. That's it, where the arms just join in, walking movement. So with that opposite arm to leg, one starting to go further back as the other one comes up a little higher at the front. Bringing her up, about shoulder height now. That's good. That's it. Bring that arm up, let's take it a little higher now. It's coming up there, up high. That really good stretch back with both arms. That's it. A few more times. Just giving that really nice stretch around that chest and shoulders. That's it. One more. And we're bringing that down. So still standing nice and tall. Got those feet under our hips. Just want you to raise the arms, open out, in and down. So up, open, in and down. So take a nice deep breath as we open out, then blow it out as we come down. And blow it out. That's it. Good. A few more. We extend the movement. Good, so this time we're going to open out and then reach over the top, back and down. Up, over, back and down. Good, keeping that going, so it's that reach over, hand out to the side, stays out at 90 degrees. over, reach over the top of your head. That's it. Good, one more each way. Bring that back, last one. down. Okay, so we're going to start bringing in the lower body as well, so I want you to open out those arms and sweep in front with a little bend of the knee. So we're sweeping that through, those arms cross in front, a little lean back as we open out that chest. That's good. Nicely done. When you're crossing the arms in front, try to alternate which arm's on top. The 
So as the arms cross, you do twist very, very slightly, probably that you wouldn't even notice. So if you alternate which one. Good, a few more. Just really starts to loosen everything up. Get all of those muscles warmed up. Good, two more. Last one. And bringing that down. Okay, so we're standing nice and tall now. I just want you to raise one knee, then the other. So the aim just keep standing tall and still. Bringing that knee up to hip height if you can. If you do struggle with that, or your hips may be out your own anymore, then just take it to where you feel comfortable. That's it, so just bringing that knee up. So a few more. We'll extend the movement. Okay, next time we're going to open that knee out. So then we're going to lift, open, in, and down. Up, open, in, and down. That's it, really good. When we open that knee, try and keep the body facing forwards. So we're just rotating that hip joint. So head and hips always stay forwards if you can. So a little rotation of the hip. Good. A few more, we'll extend it again. So after we've opened that knee out, we're gonna go into that push back. So we're gonna press that leg back and down. So we're up, open, in, push back. There we go, that's it. Keep that going, a few more. leg. Press it off back and bring it back in. Well done. Okay, feet back nicely under those hips, standing tall. And we're just going to dip that down into our little squat. Lower it down, back up. Head up, give that chest open. So sitting back, plum sticks out behind as we're into that squat. Heels down on the floor. Really good. That's it, two more. One more time. Bringing it up. Okay, so we're going to stick with the squats, but we're going to go into our curtsy squat now. So remember this time, that leg goes across behind. So we're getting that little bit of angle on it. Really good. Excellent. That move in to a steady way. Good, 
a couple more each way. That's it. Let's have another one. And bring that back in. Well done. Okay, move yourself towards the end of your mat. So you're looking lengthways along it. We're going to start with that roll down. So hands high. Right, both hands curl it down towards those feet. Slowly. And roll, bring it up. Nice and high. Down we go. If you're finding it quite tight in your lower back, and your hamstrings after a night of sleep. You should gradually ease them out. That's it. Well, here's the Wednesday morning, so I've run Tuesday night, so I tend to be a bit achy and tight on a Wednesday morning. For the first couple, I can maybe only just get towards the toes. After a few, as it starts to loosen the warm up, I'm back down to touching the mat. That's it. Nice and steady. Really stretching out all of that postural chain. And then we stack those vertebrae as we come back up. Really good. We find uh, those hamstrings have loosened out. We can get a little bit lower now. Okay, one more. We're going to stop at the bottom. So as we come down now, we're going to lower that down to the floor. Let it hang. Good. And then drop one shoulder, then the other. So we're just rotating those shoulders, pressing one towards the floor, then the other. That's good. Excellent. A few more. shoulder and then let yourself unroll bring it back up let that blood go back down into the body once more down roll it down curl towards those feet hang and then walk out and we're going to drop into that kneeling box position so we're on our hands and knees hands under shoulders knees under hips and taking it up into that cat stretch, pressing that spine up, and then rotate through. Let that spine drop, head up, bum up. That's it. Press up, up through that spine again. Bring it down. Good, a couple more, pushing that up. Really feel that spine stretching out and then down. Let it hang down, stretch the other way. Press that up. Neutral, sit back onto your heels, stretching in that child's pose. That's it. And bringing it back up. Good. Okay, first exercise this morning then. We're going to start face down on the mat. I want you to bring your arms round in front of you, legs extended straight behind. So we're gonna do almost like a breaststroke arm. So we're gonna raise our arms, head and chest. Then arms are gonna come round behind the body. 
back in front and down. So from laying face down, arms forward, we're gonna lift, touch behind, round and down. Off we go. So let's lift, round, forwards and down. Round, back, down. That's it. Steady away now. Slowly rotate those arms to touch behind. Bring them up and down. <coughs> Excellent, a few more. And then we're gonna add in a leg lift. So after your next one, when the arms come back in front, rest the arms down, raise the legs off the ground. Long straight legs, and down, back to the arms. One arm action, one leg lift. Pressing hips into the floor, pulling that lower back, glutes and hamstrings to raise the legs up. That's it. Good. One more time of each. Round. Back in front, down. Raise those legs last time. Relax them down. Okay, I want you to stay laying face down on the floor. We're going to have our arms extended, but try and turn so your palms are facing upwards. So you get your arms extended, palms facing up, legs extended behind. We're going to start just with a hamstring curl. So from laying down, all we need to do is just bring your foot in, extend back, then the other one. So just bringing that foot in, using that hamstring to bring the leg in. We're now gonna add in a bicep curl. So as you bring the hamstring in, bring that foot towards the body, opposite arm, curls in, doing a bicep curl. Let's have two more on each side. One more each side. And rest it down. Okay, we're gonna take ourselves up now into that sort of pyramid shape or that downward dog if you're yogury. 
So we'll get the hands on the mat, our feet back, and then raise those hips up, head down towards the floor. From here, we're going to rotate the hips through, rolling through the shoulders, looking up. So that's a cobra type position. Roll it back. Is that a downward dog or a pyramid? Rotate through. Look it up. That's good. Keeping it nice and steady, really controlled. if you need. Okay, so one more exercise on your front. We're going to go into that kneeling box position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to start with our basic superman just to get us going. So we extend one leg, opposite arm long and straight. Bring it in, change sides. Remember to keep that back level, those hips and shoulders stay flat. That's good. Think about trying to balance something on your back. We don't want to twist and drop it off. our sides now. 
So just laying out nice and long on your side, hand under the head, other hand in front for balance if we need, resting on that hip. So we're starting with that simple single leg lift. So our legs extended, drawing your waist away from the mat if you can, feet just off the ground if able, and raise that leg. Nice and steady. So we're not doing the splits. We're just keeping that control. Resting on that hip. And if you're confident in that balance or you want to challenge yourself, take that front hand away. We're making sure we've not rolled back onto the bone. We're still staying balanced on that hip. That's it. We'll keep that hand in front if you need, but the aim is to have as light a touch as possible on your fingers. So steady away. That's it. Two more. Go two more and rest it down. Give it a few seconds. A little rub if you need to ease that muscle out. Always helps just give it a little ease out. Okay, we're going to stay in that same start position. So legs extended, laid out on our side, and it's now sweeping those legs forwards and back in that scissor movement. Good. We steady away, sweeping gently forwards and back. That's good. gentle, keeping the control, so we're pivoting on that hip bone, that's it, a couple more, one more, and together rest it down, bring those knees up and then the arms out at 90 degrees to the body, we're going to open that door, so reach over, follow the hand back, and then trace on the floor around your head. So we're going to lift over, trace around the head in that circle. Good. Over and round. Good, keeping that going. Two more. Good, one more. And bring that back together. Okay, spin yourselves round or roll over. We'll go through the same ones, but just in reverse. So we're going to start with that open door. So all that arm out at 90 degrees, knees bent. Get opened up and around. Good. Opening up and round we go. Excellent. Gives it a really nice open out of that 
that chest, good stretch around chest and shoulder, and then that release to the shoulder joint as you circle around. That's it, two more. And we go, one more. And back in. Good, extend those legs out. Up under the head, legs long and straight. We're resting on that hip bone. And we're gonna scissor those legs, forwards and back. Sweeping those legs, that's it. Gently back and forth. That's good. Remember just pivoting on that hip bone, steady movement. And if you really want to challenge yourself, can we balance as we do it? Good. Couple more times. One more. And bringing that down. Give it a few seconds. We're going to go into that leg lift for our last exercise on our sides. So, nice and long, feet just off the ground if you can, waist pulled away from the mat, and let's lift that top leg, bringing that up, back down, that's it, really good, so steady away. and easy, we're not having to go super high with that leg, and we can take that hand away to challenge ourselves further, excellent, let's get going, nicely done, Two more. And resting that down. Well done, let these out if we need. We're gonna move over onto our backs now. So we're taking that over. I want you to start laying back on that mat with our knees bent up. So we're laid back, hands point to the ceiling, so we're in that dead bug type position. And from here, we're just gonna slide one leg out, bring it in, then the other. So that foot stays nice and close to the floor. Really good. Bringing that in. And as soon as we've got that movement, we drop that opposite arm back, those hands stay pointing to the ceiling, that's good, so at all times there should be one hand, one knee pointed up, that's it, just a steady one to ease us in, onto these exercises on our backs, Few more. Good. One more each side. And bring that in. Okay, we're going to stay on the back, so bringing our feet, legs up into tabletop. So 90 degree bend at hip, 90 degree bend at the knee. Hands up to the ceiling and bend them at the elbow. So we've got that pec deck position with the arms. We're going to drop one knee out to the side, bringing it back in, out to the other side. So think back to when we were doing our Superman, that side lift we did, 
pretty much the same exercise now. So let the arms get involved. So opposite arm drops out to the side. That's it. Dropping the arm out, the leg out. You come back to centre, then the other side moves. to lay back still and extend our legs long and straight. Tuck our hands just under your bum, a little bit more support. We're going to do a leg raise, so we're going to bring those feet up and in. Extend and down, bring them up and in. If you do find that difficult, you can just slide those feet in and back. That's your lower level alternative. If you can raise those feet, feet travel in a semicircle. So we've got up, out, down, up, in, down. That's it, nice and steady. times. Good, two more. Extend and lower that down, well done. Okay, bring yourself up into a sitting position. So we've got our knees bent, quite nice and straight, taking those arms forwards, and we're just going to gently lower that back, bring it up, steady away, that's it. Really good, nice and easy. As you roll back, just as far as you feel comfortable, if that's to there, that's your limit, absolutely fine. If you're feeling strong, you'll take it nearly to the mat, fantastic. Time now. Bring that back, twist, 
twist, and up we go, well done. Okay, slowly coming up to your feet. Bring ourselves back up to standing. So we're facing forwards, take one foot back, feet parallel, bend that front knee, back leg stays straight. Give that calf a nice stretch. And then take those hands forward, open out those shoulders, head down, look to the mat, stretch down the back of the neck. And release. I want you to slide your back foot forwards till it's about 10 centimeters, so a few inches just behind the front foot. Bend both knees, tilt the pelvis under, and then press that hip forwards. So you get a nice stretch on your hip flexors. Good, then stand up out of it. I want you to pick up the back foot. Giving that thigh a nice stretch now. Try and get knees nearly together. Press the hips forwards. And release that foot. That foot now comes forwards. We bend the back knee. Sitting back. Sticking that bum out. Toes are flat on the floor to begin with. And now we want you to lift your toes and curl your big toe in towards your shin. relax that back. So if you've done that right, your opposite foot now should be back. So stretching out that calf, hands go in the small of the back, shoulder blades together, I want you to look up this time. That's it. And slide that foot forward, so it's that sort of 10 centimeters or so behind the front foot. Bend both knees, tuck the pelvis under, press the hip forwards. That's it, stand up out of it, pick up that back foot. Stretching out that thigh. Just standing tall. And release that foot. Comes forward. Bend in the back knee. Sticking that bum out. Toes on the floor to begin with. Now raise that foot and those toes. Curl that big toe in towards your shin. center of your mat, take those feet nice and wide, we're going to sweep through, raising that up one more time, this will take us on to our toes to finish, reach for the sky for three, two, one, and relax it down, well done everybody.